problem. In this short video, I'll show you how to search both the US databases for sequence data, NCBI, and the European sequence databases on Ensemble. In both systems, we want to make sure that we're finding a unique sequence that is exactly what we're looking for. And we can do that by using accession numbers or HGNC gene names. So official names, official numbers are going to make sure you get exactly what you're looking for. I'm going to start on Ensemble by looking up the XPO1 gene in the human genome. And once I open the gene page, we're going to see that the way Ensemble organizes the information is with multiple tabs. So I can look at the genome level. I can see the location, the chromosome, chromosomal location on chromosome 2. I can look at neighboring genes. And I can look at what transcripts this gene makes. So I'm going to click on Show Transcript Table. That will be the easiest way to view all the transcripts. And the assignment for this week asks you to look at transcript 220. So if you scroll down, you can see all the different XPO1 numbers, XPO1-222, XPO1-241. And we're looking for 220. It's the second one. Once I have this transcript, I can um, click on the transcript. And I can go to the protein page that that transcript matches. So every single alternate tr transcript of this gene, every single messenger RNA molecule will have a corresponding amino acid sequence. I click on the protein. The protein, um, I can either hide the transcript table to see the protein, or I can scroll below the transcript table. Protein will show up here, and we can see that it starts with our start codon, methionine. Um, and we have the whole protein sequence. And I can download it as a FASTA file. And when I go to download it as a FASTA file, one of the things that comes up in the file name is the protein code. Once I download it, that will answer the first couple questions. I'll know what is the protein associated with the transcript and what is the amino acid sequence. And the last thing I'm going to do is do a similar process of finding a unique sequence on the US system. So I'm going to paste the NM number. This is going to be for a messenger RNA. So just like we explored messenger RNAs or ENST numbers on Ensemble, they're NM numbers on NCBI. And we see that this is the messenger RNA that encodes the beta subunit of hemoglobin. We're not going to paste the FASTA sequence. We're going to look at the GenBank sequence. So if I click on FASTA, you see it switches over to the FASTA view. And if I click on GenBank, it goes back to something that looks more like an encyclopedia entry. To highlight this, I'm going to start highlighting the word locus. And I'm going to use the keyboard controls, hold down shift, and use the down arrow to select all of the file, but none of the other parts of the website. So I want to get all the information that's in the GenBank file without getting anything that's in the sidebars. So that's everything that you need for the homework this week. Make sure that you feel comfortable searching both databases.